1984, there is a kid from Auburn named Charles Barkley. <laughs> and the Sixers drafted him at number five. First of all, that wasn't a surefire thing. I mean, you know, he was infamous for eating a pizza or two at one <laughs> sit. He was 6'5", maybe. He was a power player at 6'5". And yet he did all these dramatic things and, and really was just a tremendous college player. Take me inside the Sixers front office and the debate that surrounded Charles Barkley before the team finally selected him. Well, it, it, was, it was a debate. Um, Harold Katz was in love with Charles. I wasn't sure. And there was another player, Sam Perkins, <clears throat> out of North Carolina, who was very intriguing and went on and had, I think, played the same amount of years, 16 or 17 years in the NBA. But the beauty of, of Sam was he could play two spots. He could be the backup to Moses, and he also could be a power forward with a great range and, and had the ability to shoot the three. So there was a little bit of concern, debate, um, who is the, who's going to have the better career. And it worked out where Charles just fell in our lap because Sam went one player before that, so there was never a debate. And Charles, Charles was not an easy person to coach his first year. And it became... It was a lot of time I had to spend dealing with Charles because Charles liked to do things his way. And now I look at Charles and what he's been able to achieve and what he achieved um, as a player, as an announcer, as a human being. And now he's a grandfather. Oh, my God. Um, he's just wonderful. I mean, and to see Charles and how he deals with his stardom and dealing with people and kids, and signing autographs, spending time. Um, he is just a wonderful gentleman and wonderful man. Give me an example of some of uh, the issues you may have experienced with him as a rookie. <clears throat> uh, Charles didn't like to run back on defense. Matter of fact, walking would have been a, a move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there were times when he would have to run a little bit more than others because of his um, lack of cooperation. And um, it, the shame was I couldn't really get to him at that point in his career. And one of the reasons I thought about coaching a little longer was I saw what a great player Charles Barkley was going to become uh, and the gifts that he had. Uh, he was just unusual. I mean, we've never seen anyone with his physical, his athleticism, um, his strength, his basketball IQ. Um, he went on and, as we've seen, he came close to winning a world championship and was MVP in the league. So that tells you what his ability is.